Community gardening is an activity for all ages. For older community members, gardening in urban areas brings unique challenges. But with the right planning, assistance, and garden infrastructure, gardening can be enjoyable and rewarding well into the twilight years. Today we're talking with three community gardeners to learn what they like about urban gardening and how we can make gardening easier for seniors. Our first stop is Jackson Forest Community Garden in the Bronx, where Marie Brooks has been an urban gardener for over 25 years. This is Jackson Forest Community Garden. First it was just an empty lot that we cleaned out and then we got permission to plant in it. But when you come in here, you sort of get in touch with nature. You could watch people passing by, they ask questions, and there's always something to do. You have a choice of what you want to do. Mostly like when I'm putting weeds in my area there, I have a chair that I sit to make myself comfortable and then pull the weeds. Marie's garden has a number of elements that are designed for senior gardeners, including double high raised beds with lights, an accessible pathway down the middle of the garden, and a pavilion that provides shade and a place to sit and meet. It's good exercise also. You just come in and move your hand. You sit in the house, you watch a lot of TV, you sit here, you sit there. But when you come in here, you do a different type of exercise. I spend time and time in here, but I enjoy it. I enjoy planting, I enjoy looking around, I enjoy designing. Even though I have to move a plant here and put it over there, move something there, move it here. But I like changes. I like to look at good things. I live right over there. And when I look over here, I want to see something nice. Next, we're visiting nearby St. Augustine Church to talk with gardener Frances Bell about her recently built garden. When I used to pass by and look at this garden, it was a dumping ground, and I would stand and look, and I would shake my head, and I would say, Lord, something needs to be done, you know. My thing is, I'm trying to get the garden to be peaceful, serenity, you know, where you can just come in and sit down, relax, think, meditate, whatever. I had a young lady come in and she helped out. She did the things that I couldn't do because of my age and my disability. Uh, in some areas of my life, I couldn't pick up things the way I wanted to pick them up. Um, moving this and moving that. It is very important for me as a senior citizen to have some help in the garden. I came in here alone by myself and um, I could not do all of this without uh, Teresa. She came in, she lives uh, behind the church there, and her son was in the garden, and uh, he was a great help. So, I think that this is one of the things I love almost the, the most. I love the benches. Believe me, I do, because you gotta sit down, but I love this because it is convenient, you know, and uh, I think most of all the uh, senior citizens should try to get some of these in the garden. Don't have to bend down. You can come here and you can plant what you want. Some days I just like to come and just sit there and look, you know, and look, look at it, you know, and see uh, how far we came with the garden. And now we're off to Brooklyn to stop by Power Street Community Garden and talk to gardener Mario about how they built a garden with seniors in mind. So we are right now at Power Street Garden in Brooklyn. One of the good things that we did in this garden is that we raised these planters. Normally a wheelchair will get through this, so they will be sitting here in the wheelchair. And it's so easy to walk because they, you know, they kind of spend time here and do whatever they want to do with their planters. It's just great because um, some of them come from nursing homes. The pads that we rebuilt this during this year have this kind of material that is, is incredible the way it absorbs the water. It doesn't let the garden to get muddy and it doesn't get flooded. It's very firm. 
So you can roll a, even, you know, anything here like this. It was a huge improvement for what we had in the past. During the last couple of years, it was impossible to come into the garden by them because uh, the ground was always wet and it got flooded. So the wheelchairs, as soon as you came into the garden, they were stuck in the mud. So they were not able to do any work in the garden. Right? So that is in incredible the way we, you know, we were able to help those members. Community gardening can be a rewarding and beneficial activity for seniors who are looking to get outside and exercise their green thumbs. Elements like pathways, high garden beds, and seating can make it a more pleasant experience for gardeners and visitors alike. For more information on how to get involved with community gardening in New York City, visit growNYC.org.